How many of you still listen to the radio? And by radio, I don't mean your iPod or CD player. I actually mean FM or even AM sometimes. Um, I can't tell you the last time I listened to FM radio on purpose, other than when borrowing a vehicle um, when I was getting my car fixed. <clears throat> and I just don't want to mess around with the iPod conversion and all that stuff. And I have to say, the radio... <laughs> just really sucks um i have friends that are all about satellite radio whether it's xm or cirrus uh, i know one of those two have is in financial problems or will be going bankrupt soon or something but i never understood that appeal i know a lot of people love love the the satellite radio um but I guess it's a little it's the same mentality as the people online that are getting into pandora from what I understand about Pandora is you tell it some of your favorite bands or artists and it makes these it'll it's online streaming music and you get three skips per session or per day or something like that and a lot of times it it kind of figures out what you like uh, iTunes has a thing now called the genius bar genius mode something like that where based on the songs you listen to and things like that, it, it will choose other types of artists. Um, the Apple one works a lot of times for me, but Pandora never did. And I think it's the reason that I don't like the radio. At least around here, we're in a, a relatively, I think, middle-sized market. Green Bay is it's kind of a medium-sized market. Um, we just don't have good radio stations. We have our top 40 oldies classic country that's about it and they all have even the classic and the oldies all seem to play the same songs over and over again so for example if they play a song from abbey road by the beatles it will always be come together or something it's always kind of like the hits it'll never be like some album track like i want you she's so heavy or mean mr mustard or something like that um, so I, I have no patience with radio when they play the same songs over and over again. Um, and that's what I like about my iPod is I become the DJ. I can play whatever I want. And I think that's why I'm falling in love lately with blip.fm. Uh, I kind of found it about the beginning of December. Um, and I've really been getting into it, well, more and more each month. And uh, Blip FM, if you guys don't know about it, it's a lot like Pandora, I understand. But the way I explain it, it's like Twitter, but with music. And with each Blip post you do, you Blip a song. And it's all streaming uh, audio. I think it's Flash-based MP3s or something like that. Um, but you pick you, you pick your, your stream. You can pick all your own songs. You can Blip. And then, like Twitter, you, you have people you follow and people who follow you. So in a given day, you have a stream, and you can start listening to your own music as well as the people in your stream. Other times, I just click on my name and just listen to my stream, or I click on another user's name and listen to their stream. And I've been just loving it. Uh, to me, there's never been anything more intimate than sharing music well there's a couple things but sharing music is one of the most intimate things i can think of just because music has such a big part of my life uh, i kind of sat here to show you this is just this is the physical side of my cd collection i really don't buy hard copies anymore i've got stacks of cds all over the place uh this doesn't include twenty thousand other songs you know in an ipod library on my computers on hard drives and whatnot. Um, but I love music. Music is probably my favorite thing in the whole world. And I love sharing music. I love sharing music with friends. I love turning people on to music I like. Um, a few of my closest friends I turned on to U2. I gave them a hard drive with the entire discography of music and said, here you go. And they became huge fans and it's something incredible for me to share. So this, this Blip FM thing, when I can start sharing songs with friends or like-minded DJs, it's just a great thing. And 
there are times when you kind of find somebody you can just tell they're blipping and they're in a blipping mood and you'll blip back and forth the other night uh kiwi uh and i were blipping songs back and forth to each other she lives in germany i'm in wisconsin united states across the world here we are sending songs to each other uh my friend mike uh, muso sf out in san francisco one night he knew i was going to be up late doing some freelance work and i asked him to play dj for me so he got this great mix going for me of songs he knew i'd like and it's just this wonderful wonderful thing to be able to share to people and it's things like blip fm that blip fm and twitter that in this whole new web 2.0 thing that's going on that has really made me feel connected with these online friends and it's 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 a level of connection that i only once had with people you know in a dorm room or they come over and hang out in my apartment and we drink some beer and once in a while I listen to a new album by so-and-so. But this level of connection that I'm feeling with people through through sharing music online, through Blip FM, you know, finding new bands by people you might not otherwise hear, it's just an amazing thing. And to me, this idea of a demographic, that things like Pandora, like the satellite radio, which has a lot of stations, but they always want to put me in a box. I have on my digital cable, I have a, this, these music channels. I've got like 100 music channels. And my, the one I fall closest in sync with is alternative adult, con, no, not adult contemporary. It's like adult alternative or something like that. So it's a little bit older, kind of 90s college music, you know, uh, Dave Matthews Band, Jack Johnson, U2, R.E.M., stuff like that. But unfortunately, when I listen to things like that, I don't get to hear any Michael Jackson, Madonna, Beatles, any oldies, any disco, any techno, any metal, stuff like that, which I like too. I mean, I, I have a wide, wide variety. I, I love all kinds of music. Um, and that's always been my problem with any of these, you know, FM stations, with Satellite, with Pandora, is they try to put me in a box based on this demographic. And I don't know how you define a demographic of somebody who likes a lot of music and if you look at the people or if I look at the people that I'm following on blip we all are quite varied there'll be days when people are in an oldies mood or a country mood and I'm you know okay with saying sometimes I like listening to some country music modern country or old country or bluegrass or whatever that's just my thing um, so blip FM yeah I'll put a link over here to my stream if you want to follow me check out what music i play lately i've been playing a lot of kind of three songs by an artist clips of three i don't know why that just seems really fitting um but yeah check me out if not no big deal uh otherwise you might find a lot of people a lot of youtube friends on there but it's just been an amazing thing and it's something that kind of like my ipod where you become your own dj but instead this time around the uh, my friends are becoming DJs too, or strangers who have similar tastes, and that's where this Web 2.0 power has sh has it makes sense to me, the social aspect of it. I never understood a radio station before or a cable music channel or something that tried to play what I liked because there was always a gap missing. There was always a stuff missing, and now thanks to Blip FM, I really feel this intimate sharing of music of uh, new artists, of old artists, and just finding out, you know, what people are really listening to and what, what their music tastes are all about. So yeah, that's my vlog of the day, second day in a row. I just wanted to touch on why I love Blip FM so much and sharing music with new and old friends online. Talk to you later, bye.